Hi parents, soon to be parents and all guardians, welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. In our today's video, we will talk about 10 home remedies for enlarged, swelling adenoids and tonsils in children. But before we start, just a quick reminder. All content and information in this channel is strictly for informational and educational purposes only. It does not constitute professional advice. And therefore, if you wish to apply ideas contained in this video, you are taking full responsibility for your actions. Always consult a professional in the area for your particular needs. So parents, if you are ready, let's get into it. These are the 10 home remedies for enlarged swelling adenoids and tonsils in children. Trained with a respiratory infection, often find it difficult to breathe through the nose and are likely to breathe through the mouth especially when asleep. This results in noisy breathing that sounds like snoring, but it is not. This condition is a result of enlargement of the adenoids, a patch of tissue located high in the throat at the back of the nasal passage. Sometimes, there may also be a swelling of the tonsils, the two circular lump-like structures in the back portion of the throat. First, we talk about what are adenoids. For your information, adenoids are the glands that are located in the roof of the mouth. And similar to tonsils, adenoids also trap pathogens that enter through the nose or mouth. Under normal conditions, these tissues are invisible to the eye. Both the tonsils and the adenoids work to trap germs entering the body through the nose and the mouth. And therefore, when there is an infection, these tissues swell temporarily and cause pain in the throat. While the antibiotics may be required to deal with the infection, some natural remedies are useful in reducing the pain and discomfort due to the enlarged adenoids and tonsils. Number 1. Salt Water Gargle when your child begins complaining of pain in the throat, the first remedy to try is a salt water gargle, prepared by mixing in 1 tablespoon of salt into a glass of warm water. The high concentration of salt helps to draw out the liquid from the inflamed tissues and this reduces their swelling. And as a result of this dehydrated condition, it becomes more difficult for the bacteria to multiply and thrive. To do both of these actions, a salt water gargle can provide relief from the pain of enlarged adenoids and tonsils. However, my dear parents, you must ensure the child is old enough to manage the act of gargling without drinking the salt water or it may result in vomiting. Number 2. Honey and Lemon Honey has antibacterial as well as anti-inflammatory properties. As a result, it can help to reduce swelling of the tonsils and adenoids. Take a teaspoon of honey and mix it with 2-3 to three drops of lemon juice and make your child consume this about twice every day for relief from throat pain. Number 3. Garlic the sulfur-containing compounds in garlic have a strong antibacterial and anti-inflammatory action. And this make it one of the best natural remedies to deal with the infection in the throat. And for best results, raw peeled garlic must be crushed, mixed with some honey and lemon juice, and consumed. If this is unpalatable to the child, you could crush the peeled garlic clove and lightly saute it in the minimum quantity of G oil. Number 4. Warm Beverages When the adenoids and tonsils are swollen, it can be quite painful to swallow anything solid and this is the reason why most kids refuse to eat. Giving them warm beverage to sip helps to provide them nutrition but it also has a soothing effect on the enlarged tissues in the throat. A mild tea with a little honey, a clear soup broth, or a few drops of lemon juice and honey in the warm water are some of the most soothing natural remedies to deal with enlarged adenoids and tonsils. Number 5. Turmeric 
turmeric contains curcumin which has antioxidant, antibacterial, and anti-inflammatory action. As results, turmeric powder must be added to a glass of warm milk and drunk just before the child sleeps at night. The turmeric relieves the inflammation and milk has a mild sedative action. In combination, they work to help the child feel comfortable enough to sleep well. Number 6. Basil Basil or tulsi leaves have antibacterial, antiviral, and anti-inflammatory actions. This means that basil helps to reduce the swelling of the adenoids and tonsils. Basil is also known to hasten the healing process and this make it a good natural remedy for throat infection. Take about 10 basil leaves in 1 cup of water, boil for 10 minutes, strain and mix in the juice squeezed from one small lemon along with this spoon of honey. My dear parents and guardians, make your child drink this mixture about thrice a day for 3 days to notice a significant reduction in throat pain. Number 7. Ginger for swollen adenoids Along with all these natural remedies, there are other ways to soothe the pain of enlarged adenoids and tonsils in children. For example, get your child to give up fried, crunchy, and spicy foods such as nuts and chips during such time. Give him or her foods such as baked fruits, boiled and mashed vegetables, or cooked oatmeal that are easy to swallow and do not irritate the already inflamed throat. Number 8. Tomatoes for swollen adenoids Tomatoes possess a chemical compound known as naringenin chalcon on their skin that can decrease nasal obstruction, sneezing, and runny nose. These also have an antihistamine effect which can cure adenoid symptoms if it has occurred due to an allergy. Number 9. Apples Apples also help in getting relief from enlarged adenoids just like tomatoes. According to a study, eating apple slices can reduce the symptoms of an allergic reaction. Therefore, it means that for swollen adenoids due to an allergic reaction, apple might be an easy and effective remedy. Number 10. Steam Inhalation Steam inhalation is also beneficial for children with enlarged adenoids. It helps relieve the nasal congestion caused by swollen adenoid glands that often lead to a snoring or a noisy breathing. And for additional tips, my dear parents, you can wrap some ice cubes in a towel and place the cold compress on your child's neck to provide some relief. Stop your child from talking too much. My dear parents and all guardians, you can use a humidifier in your house to moisten the air. And then for this reason, it will help suit your child's sore throat. And that's all for today my dear parents and all guardians. Thank you for watching. I hope that you liked the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any question, please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a blessed day everyone. Thank you again for watching all the way till the end of my video. Please enjoy your time with your little one today. Bye!